Hello everyone. Well, I'm very excited to tell you that I've been really getting heavily back into compact discs again. As a matter of fact, I'm getting into compact discs so much that I've been selling off a lot of vinyl. And uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to collect any vinyl. I've said those words a lot of times. But the vinyl is going to be a lot less, uh, I think, than I used to do. Today, I just got $300 going to a certain used store. Not my usual record store, but another one. Uh, and getting rid of some vinyl that I wasn't really going to play, I didn't think. So, 300 bucks, and that's only the beginning. Going to be a lot more that's going to go, and the CDs are going to be coming into the fore. But you'll see the occasional vinyl now and then, I'm sure. Anyway, what I'm going to show you here today are just four boxes here with CDs, box sets. Okay? Um, and I've got regular CDs, too, to show you. But I'll probably save those for another separate video. Let's just go with these. To start with, I got this. This is the Blondie uh, Singles box. I got this for $20, okay? $20. Now, let's look at some of that. The side there. Over here. I mean, you're talking 20 bucks. Now, at first I thought to myself, well, I don't know if I want to get a, a singles box. Like, why would I need a singles box, exactly? Am I going to play CD singles that much? But then I'll, I'll show you as I go along why. Why I decided to go for it. Okay. Let me just take a pause. Okay. Here's a little booklet. It's got the regular Blondie albums here. This I should mention is a, a UK set. This is a EMI UK set, which is important. Nice photo. Debbie Harry just had a birthday. She turned 79. <gasps> Can you believe it? Blondie? Well, Blondie? Blondie's the name of the band, but Debbie Harry? 79. Amazing. Okay, I don't know if these are in any particular order. It's going to take a while to go through these. You can forward ahead if you like. Um, I just want to show you again. 2004, Made in England. Uh, this is a UK set, as I said. Now, here's an example. This one is Picture This. And what else is on here besides Picture This, does it tell you? Oh, Picture This and Fade Away and Radiate. This one here is Atomic. Backed with the Die Young, Stay Pretty. I love Eat to the Beat. Eat to the Beat is my favorite Blondie album. And there's also a Heroes Live. See, I, I realized, and this is what I was going to be talking about that I was hinting at at the beginning of the video. Uh, there are other songs on here, and in some cases, different versions. This is uh, War Child and Little Caesar War Child extended version. There are extended versions on here, so it's not like just playing a single, because I thought I don't really want to just take these out and just uh, play singles i want to have other tracks and this is like a great example of it i saw a 12 inch vinyl of this the other day call me okay beautiful song by blondie but this has call me uh the instrumental call me the 12 inch version call me the spanish version and uh call me uh 12 inch instrumental version so there are four versions of call me on here you see what i mean so that is a lot better than just having a single. I'm not just buying these because they got one song on it or an A and B side, so to speak. Now we got Sunday Girl. I just, not too long ago, sold a 12-inch vinyl of this, but I got it here. And even though the artwork is not as big, uh, yes, I'm going to be pro CD again. Even though the artwork is not as big as a 12-inch record, five, it's a nice size photo, you know? It's nice. Uh, and on here you got uh, Sunday Girl with I Know But I Don't Know. And also Sunday Girl, the French version. So you've got multiple tracks on here. These are more like EPs, really. They call it the Singles Collection, but it's really like, you know, in a way, an EP. Here you got uh, The Tide is High. I just got this recently on a Foreign 45. 
And this is the Titus High on A, and then the B, so will be Susie and Jeffrey. Uh, I just want to make sure there's nothing else on here as I check it out. That's it. Okay, then you've got uh, Blondie, Island of Lost Souls, with Dragonfly, also. And uh, then you have uh, Blondie going back to Eat to the Beat. You've got Dreaming and Sound Asleep. Over here, you've got Rapture. But you see, when I say you've got Rapture here, you've got Rapture. I should really be showing the B-sides, the backside, I should say, backside. <laughs> the rear, the rear of these. Uh, Rapture, Walk Like Me, Rapture, Special. I can't read it. It is a lot smaller. <sighs> Okay, Rapture, Walk Like Me, Rapture Special Disco Mix, and Live It Up Special Disco Mix. So this is, again, more than just singles. I'm glad. Uh, Blondie, I'm always touched by your presence, dear. And then you've got, what's the other one? Poet's Problem and Detroit 442. Uh, you got Rip Her to Shreds over here, and you can see the other tracks there. Um, In the Flesh and Ex Offender. Heart of Glass. Now, I love the song Heart of Glass, okay? Do I really need a single with Heart of Glass on a CD? Well, yeah, because you're getting Heart of Glass, but you're also getting, you know, 7-inch version Heart of Glass, Rifle Range, Heart of Glass 12-inch version, and Heart of Glass Instrumental. All right, they should call this the EP collection, really, not the singles collection. Okay, then you got Blondie again here, of course, and you've got uh, Dennis, Contacted Red Square, and Kung Fu Girls. Now you've got Hanging on the Telephone, and will the song Will Anything Happen, Parallel Lines. And then you've got Union City Blue and Living in the Real World, going back to the wonderful, and there's like... The cover eat to the beat so uh for 20 bucks i mean this thing this thing was 40 dollars. they were asking 40 dollars for it but it had been sitting here for a couple of years nobody bought it sometimes when something's sitting around for like a couple of years they decrease the price all right let's move on now i already took way too much time just on the one old friends simon and garfunkel you know we realize how cool 12 inch vinyl is you know 12 inch vinyl it's it's a big size uh and collectible well, so are these so are these slender uh cg uh cd books three compact discs in here i mean i have got all the simon and garfunkel albums pretty much on vinyl and cds already but you know when these these versions here that actually have these books to admire i mean this is fabulous you know this is just like getting a a special 12 inch vinyl record just as good all right this is exciting i should say now frank sinatra i'm, I'm thinking of unloading a lot of frank sinatra albums i know people's ears are going to go up but uh i haven't decided yet how i'm going to go about it but anyway this in the meantime look at this beautiful set Look at this thing. Frank Sinatra, the best of the Columbia years, 1943 to 1952. Now, I think Sinatra's best years were probably capital. But nevertheless, here we go. This book is loose. This is loose. That's why I got these for this one for a good price. But uh, let's just... I don't know if this book always came out. It looks like it might... I say loose. This, this book might always have been uh, separate i thought maybe maybe it fell out or something or it was like it's supposed to be attached now the columbia years i'm taking a chance on this it wasn't a, it was not an expensive chance but uh i'm really wondering how these are going to sound because i don't think i've had some columbia albums i don't think that i've liked the sound as much of his voice and everything on these early early tracks finally the great nat king cole Okay, this is not a very picturesque box, but this is a cool box, Nat King Cole. I really enjoy the sound of his voice. I, I always liked 
Nat King Cole. And here I've got a nice set here, four discs. And let's just look at the inside. Alrighty, we got a book here again. A little recording. Uh, what a great voice this man had. <laughs> nice picture. And on we go. Really nice. And we have the discs. I mean, you know, CDs are beautiful, especially in jewel cases. I'm a jewel case fan. How shiny those are nice. All right. And yeah, I'm making the move. I still have vinyl for certain things, but I'm really enjoying these compact discs too. Compact discs are swell. So, I thank you very much for watching with me and by the way i just want to check something here uh it says four discs hmm i've only got three i was i was given this i was given this for free i was given this set for free and maybe this is why disc number two is missing <laughs> no, it's got to be here somewhere in this house but i don't know i i don't know I got it for free. I, I Maybe that's why. Maybe because I was missing a disc. I really don't know. But whatever. I'll have to get the whole thing. Or find out if the disc is in the house somewhere. <laughs> All right. It was free. The, the guy threw it in. And that, maybe that's why. All right, folks. Talk to you later. More CDs on the way. And maybe a little vinyl.